angels it's looking brats aka dom i am here to share something very exciting i received a box in the mail and it included some dolls from a certain company that i really admire from a brand that i really love and if you couldn't guess it is brats and i just dropped one i got the full girls night out collection from mga entertainment thank you so much for sending these over and actually something exciting is in the pipeline with looking brats and you might see something with gno coming up pretty soon if you haven't already it might already be out at this point but keep an eye out for that we have some really cool stuff on the way and i'm very excited for y'all to see that i really put a lot of time into doing it and I had a, a lot of fun making it so I hope y'all see that soon if you have not seen it already but I'm so excited to finally be holding the girls night out 21st birthday edition dolls in my hands I was so shook when I opened this box because it doesn't only have the girls night out dolls in it it has another set of dolls in it but that video is gonna come a little bit later but for now i will show you the girls night out dolls so i got a full set i got chloe yasmin sasha jade and dana and seeing these in person is so much different from seeing them online i feel like i've only seen stock photos and i've seen other people's photos but when you actually see these dolls in person and i don't know if it's like the set that i got sent or i don't know it's just these dolls are super stunning in person and I felt this really weird rush of nostalgia and just a little bit of like emotions coming up because it felt like I was holding the actual like original dolls in my hand. And I know a lot of people will say like these dolls are really different. A lot of people don't like the reproductions, but I think this is by far one of the best reproduction lines that we've seen so far that I've got to see them in my hands and i'm super excited to actually open them and get you know get to experience the dolls i really just want to show y'all what they look like and do an unboxing and i'm also doing a review on lookinbrats.com in the blog section so make sure to look out for that if you want to see more detailed close-up pictures so we have dana here we have yasmin and I was actually really shook when I saw Yasmin in real life because she kind of looks like the original. So I don't know if it's a thing with later batches or what, because some of the Yasmins we saw at first, they looked good, but they didn't look quite like the original. But this one, I thought this was the original when I saw her in my hands. So it's just a little crazy seeing that. And then we have Chloe. I think Chloe is the one I've been the most excited for ever since the stock pictures dropped back in July, I believe. She just look, looks really good and she looks a lot like the original. And I don't know, something about her almost feels more like, you know, it feels a little bit better than the original. I don't wanna be like controversial and say that. Same thing with Dana, like, I don't know, something about these reproductions is really like, it's giving me some life here. And then of course we have Jade, which I showed you a little bit earlier. And this Jade is really stunning. I got a really good batch, so I'm very grateful to MGA for sending me this really amazing batch. And then we have Sasha. And it's really just cool seeing these in the box. My boxes are a little scuffed up. Otherwise, like, I would, like, low-key consider leaving them in the box because they just look really good in the box. But, of course, I want to open them up. I want to play with them. I want to feel their hair. I want to know what hair they have. A lot of people are saying it's nylon. And I do believe that it looks like nylon in the box. I just haven't had the chance to actually touch the hair myself. And I don't think Saran is being as commonly used anymore with MGA or with Bratz at this point, which is fine with me. I know a lot of people prefer, prefer. I know a lot of people prefer Saran over nylon, but it's whatever to me. Like I'm not stressing it, but wow, I'm really just, I'm stunned at these dolls. And I'm so excited to see these pop up on shelves soon. So apparently these are supposed to make their way onto shelves by October 9th. And I think they're going to be mostly in Target stores. And I do believe Macy's is getting them because a Macy's end cap display layout was shown recently. 
and it showed the Girls Night Out dolls. It showed the upcoming Series 2 dolls. It showed some of the flashback minis and the advent calendar. So I think it's safe to say that we will actually be seeing these on shelves. Some people were concerned that there was a recall happening at Target. I believe the recall was really just to get them off shelves until they were ready to release. I think they were just getting the batches too early. And the same thing with Amazon. So if you remember back in July, when the dolls were originally supposed to launch, everyone was getting them, or not everyone, but some people were getting them early and some people were like, how did you get them early? But Amazon just had some early shipments come in and they were distributing them faster than they should have. And I think it was just a, really a big mix up, but some people were able to get their hands on them early. And it wasn't a matter of like, you know, they were sold out. It was just a matter of the early bird gets the worm essentially. But now they are going to be more widely available and I'm super excited. Like I cannot wait to see these on shelves. They are going to look so good, especially next to the series two dolls. I think it's going to be a really special moment for Bratz fans this year. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking so much and I'm actually going to open the dolls. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. I'm excited. They look, they look so good. The boxes of course come in that iconic trapezoid shape packaging. And it looks very similar to the original Girls' Night Out dolls, except there are less accessories. And I think as most people know, there is a missing outfit. So the original Girls' Night Out dolls came with three full outfits. This time she only comes with two outfits. So her main outfit, which is the Funkalicious formal wear, and then one of her other outfits, which is the semi-formal fever. And also the lenticular card is not included, even though the listings originally said they would come with them, but it's whatever, we'll ignore it for now. And there is some holographic shine to this packaging. And I love on the top where it says the Girls' Night Out collection. I used to love that on the old packaging, so I'm glad they brought it back for this. And of course, there is the 21st birthday edition motif sticker on top. It is also removable because it did not come on my jade. The back of the box features the artwork. It essentially looks a lot like the original back of the boxes and it just shows like what each doll includes. This is the international box, so there's a lot of text on the back. And if you notice in the corner, there is the original prototype pictures and it features the third outfits that the dolls never came with and so does the artwork on the front and the back. So that's kind of funny, but it's whatever. The only one who has their outfit is Jade. She comes in the outfit that is in her artwork, but the other girls do not have it. So that's a little sad, but I guess we'll deal in favor of nice hair and beautiful faces. And I'm really impressed they were able to redo these hairstyles over, what, 15 years later now? So let's actually get to opening the doll. Oh, they come apart very easily, which is nice. Oh, she's got some crunch in her hair. I'm gonna have to wash that out. So this features a lot of the same elements that the old packaging had. It says, first time ever, now with real eyelashes and body glitter. And if you can't tell, there is body glitter all up in this body. And she does have real eyelashes. I will say the eyelash, oh, that feels thick. <laughs> it's a very interesting feel. These feel like they're more curled up than what I've been seeing. These have been intentionally curled up words, which I appreciate. They are very thick this time around, and I think it's because they are rooting them with nylon, and it just makes it look thicker and shinier than the original dolls. And I'll read you the back, actually. So if you see in the corner here, it says, it's a night you'll never forget. And then the little description on the bottom reads, it's time to leave the guys at home because tonight it's a girl's night out. Join all the brats as they move it and groove it at the cafes, the clubs, and the coffee shops, and paint the town a red hot red as only these girls can do. Yeah, I'm so excited for this release. And of course, if you know, oh, I wish there was a poster on the bottom. There's no poster on the bottom. I was hopeful for a second, but I knew there was no poster. I am going to be keeping so many elements of this packaging. I do tend to hoard some cardboard pieces from all the dolls I get 
for nostalgic purposes. So I will be keeping like this little piece and I'll probably keep the back piece as well. So in Chloe's accessory blister, she has a pair of sunglasses. She has two butterfly hair clips here. She has some bracelets, perfume. I believe that's nail polish, two makeup compacts, a pair of earrings, and two other hair clips here. I love these hair clips and I'm excited to have more pairs of these. And even though it's not all of the accessories they originally come with, I still think this is a decent amount of accessories to get with the dolls. So I'm okay with it and I don't think I need all of the accessories personally, but I know everyone's different. All right, we have Chloe's pleather jacket here. It's pretty well constructed. I've never really held this before. I think aside from Secret Date Megan, and it feels pretty much the same as it would with Megan. So I'm gonna assume it's very true to the original piece. I think it's pretty nice. I do like this jacket. I don't know how well I'm gonna like it with the outfits, but we'll see as time goes on. Of course, each doll comes with an iconic star-shaped brush. All right, we actually have Chloe out of the box and I am stunned. I don't know why, I feel like I'm being fooled. I'm like almost 100% sure it's nylon, but for some reason, the way it just feels, it reminds me so much of Saran, but I know this has to be nylon. I love Chloe's hair and I'm so glad the one I have actually has a really well made hairstyle. Sometimes with hairstyles like this, it's just really complicated and tends to, you know, there's sometimes there's like flyaways and there's hair popping out, but on this one, it's not that bad. And I would never dare attempt to recreate this hairstyle. So I'm really happy that she looks good. And I'm really, I'm really stunned by this doll. I mean, her lash placement is a little off in the corner here, and one of her eyes is just slightly smaller than the other, but I still think she's a pretty well-made doll. I'm still pretty impressed, and honestly, like, the eye thing, I think you probably would have gotten that with any doll between 2001 and 2009. A lot of people don't like to admit that the original Bratz had a lot of wonky moments, and I think, you know, if you're a Bratz fan from that era, you'll probably know that issue was common with a lot of dolls. And she has her cute heels. I will say it looks like there's a little bit of skin tone difference when you see it in person. Her feet skin tone color look looks just a little bit lighter than her body skin tone. I don't know if it's because maybe of like the way they mix the colors for the body and maybe with the glitter, I don't know what that process looks like, but I'm, it's so weird to be like holding this doll. I've always wanted the Girls' Night Out collection. I do have the original Sasha and Yasmin. I bought them secondhand last year, but I don't think the experience is quite the same as getting a doll new in box. And I'm very excited to see what those repros are like once I get them out of the box. But for Chloe, I have to say she's, really stunning and I'm very very impressed. Yes this is Chloe and honestly with the way her hair is kind of like poofing out a bit I think it is safe to say that it is nylon but it still looks really good I think I think it looks really great I'm really impressed. I honestly didn't know they could still do hairstyles like this. <laughs> and she also comes with her purse. Some people are saying that the purses look bigger than before. I don't really know what all those purses looked like back in the day. I, I actually did have a version of this purse. I guess it is slightly larger. I guess it's, you know, up to interpretation or preference, but I really, I really love her. She comes with a second pair of shoes. These are strappy black heels. This is like a classic Bratz shoe mold, and I love having pairs of these. These are always great to have in your collection. I also love these strappy sandal like heels as well i also love having these in my collection i try to get as many of them as possible so it's nice to have these again and then we have chloe's second outfit this is the um semi formal fever clothing so she has this top i think this is like our camo type top it's very interesting i've never actually like 
seen this in person or held it so it's interesting to see in person and then she comes with a pair of jeans and it has like a sort of like stud design on it something i'm noticing is that there's a lot of these little plastic pieces so there's a lot to cut out in this box but yes this is chloe i'm gonna do some close-up shots and i'm gonna show her in her second outfit i also want to redo her hair just wash it out a bit make sure it's a little bit more flatter but i have to say i am really impressed with chloe and from the stock photos, I was super excited to hold her in hand. I really love her design overall. So very happy with Chloe. Cannot wait to put her on display. Next up, we have Jade. So the packaging is essentially the same as Chloe's, but her artwork is the center of attention on the back, of course. And I guess I'll just open her. It really is easy to just rip these open from the back and then pull it out. Also, I should mention, they have that very classic Bratz handle mold, which is very fun to see again on the dolls. I love that. And here is Jade. I really love her as well. This is one of my fave screenings on Jade, so it's fun to see it again. Again, there's a lot of plastic pieces in this, and it's a little not fun having to cut them all out. And make sure you're not ripping these out completely. I tend to be guilty of that. Sometimes I just rip the dolls out. But with those little plastic pieces, I'm a little scared of ripping the clothing because I've done that before in the past. So be wary of that. All right, we have part of Jade's semi-formal fever. No. Yes, semi-formal fever outfit out. Again, just a bunch of little plastic pieces. But this iconic white top i love this and then she has this vest it's a jean jacket vest with a faux fur trim on the top these pieces feel really amazing like they just feel so much like the originals and i've definitely like i've held these pieces before so really love that and jade also has an accessory blister she essentially has the same items as chloe she has some extra bracelets though and she has different hair clips different glasses of course and i believe i don't think chloe oh she does chloe does come with a blush brush but there is a different nail polish bottle in there and she has two different makeup compacts i really love brad's accessories so i'm happy to have more blister packs and more accessory packs and here is jade out of the box i love her face so much when i first saw videos of her going around i was a little unsure i don't know if it's mine or if it's gonna also be later batches but the face really just feels like it looks perfect to me and she has her hair style it's not completely like the original uh, the original kind of had like this piece that would like hang out sort of so i might try to redo her hair to sort of mimic the original hairstyle but this is the hair from the back she also has crimps which are really fun and yeah this definitely it feels like nylon yes and here she is some people do not like the construction of this dress i personally don't mind but i guess i can see why people aren't fully into it and it looks very see-through so that's very interesting and i am noticing this sort of difference in skin tone it might not be apparent on camera but in person it feels a bit more but i also think the glitter might be playing a part in that and i don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me but her face looks more like pale than her body so that's interesting but she is a very pretty doll very much into her and now we have jade's pair of pants that go with her top and her jean jacket vest and i really love these pants and this outfit it just always takes me back to the star and styling movie and this artwork i love this artwork of jade and i do wish we kind of got a hat that sort of like went around her pigtails that would have always been fun in my opinion because it always just reminds me of the movie and of course she also has the same pair of strappy heels as chloe in this black color so far we have jade and chloe i love them they look so good 
Now we're gonna move on to Sasha. Now Sasha, I will say, is the one whose face looks the most different to me compared to her original doll. And I actually do have the original doll here, so we can do a little comparison and I'll also take some close-up pictures for lookandbrats.com. But let's actually open her. And of course, on the back side, she is the focus of the group. All right, we've just ripped Sasha out of the plastic shell. I do have to say, even though her face isn't exactly like the original, it still looks really good. I really love how this screening looks on her. And here we have Sasha's pleather jacket. I really love the construction of this, and I've actually never seen this jacket in person. I've never actually seen the little holes it has on the sleeve and that silver stripe, so that is so cute. Here is Sasha's blister pack, and I love her color scheme. Like, I love these accessories in these red and pink colors. And I also love her little almost like rectangle or like square shaped bracelets. So love these accessories and I love that little compact there, super cute. All right, here is Sasha out of the box and I, she's so pretty actually. <laughs> Dress construction, I don't dislike it. Something about it is very interesting to me. I wish that it was just a little tighter here in the mid section so that it really like created that silhouette otherwise i think she's very pretty this purse is kind of like a choice for her like i don't like this pink purse with this red get up but hey what can you do i do think it works a little bit better with her second outfit but it's still a little questionable and this sasha i don't know she feels she has a lot of glitter on her so it's very interesting. It looks like she got covered in glue and then they put sugar on the dolls. Like that's what the glitter on these dolls looks like. So very interesting, but she is very cute. Oh, she has a lot of things in the back of her head. Her hairstyle looks really good. I might not even have to redo it surprisingly. I'm really happy that a lot of the hairstyles on these like look really clean. And it doesn't feel like, oh, like I have to redo this because it looks like, you know, sloppy and there's flyaways and there's hair sticking out in certain places that I don't want it to be. And I know not a lot of people have that issue. I think for me and for some collectors, it just feels like, oh, like I need the doll to look as perfect as possible, but that's really just my brain and how I work. So if that's not your thing, then at least, you know, you can, you'll have a doll that looks perfect, even if you don't care. All right, here is Sasha's semi-formal fever jumpsuit. It is nice. I have have the I have this jumpsuit. I have it on my Secret Date Yasmin because it got recycled with Secret Date Yasmin. I have to see how it looks on this Sasha and see how it looks with the full look. I do like the bodysuit. I do wish, though, that they had done this outfit instead i think it's a little bit cuter and i think it also would have worked with that pink purse i do think the pink purse might be able to work with the studs and like the pinks in here i'm probably gonna leave these in their dresses when i put them on display but you'll see when i do photos and when i do close-up shots for this video how those second outfits look on them and sasha's wearing that same strappy heel that the second shoes to Jade and Chloe are, but it's on her first outfit, and I love that red toned color. And then she has the more sandal strappy like heel in pink. Again, I love these shoe molds, they feel like such classic molds for the brats. So it's very nice to see them making a comeback. And of course, her artwork skin tone was corrected to better match the doll. So I really love that. I s hope that they'll end up doing it to Yasmin at some point. Yasmin's skin tone is still looking a bit off in her artwork. So I guess we'll see what that looks like in the future. I just noticed I really like her earring. Sasha's earring is very cute. I can't find the other one though. So I'm gonna have to look for that afterwards. I found it, it was on my sock. Next up, we have Yasmin. Yasmin is the first one that I took out of the box that MGA sent to me. 
And when I saw her face, I was really shook because I feel like she looks so much like the original. So I'm excited to get her out of the box and experience her and even compare her. And I'll also compare Sasha. Maybe I'll do a separate shot. So the Yasmin, of course, is the center of attention in the back of the box. And I do hope that they try to fix her artwork up a little bit more in terms of skin tone because it really doesn't match the doll, in my opinion. All right, we have Yasmin's semi-formal fever jacket out. And I really love this piece. I also have this piece. I be I think it came with Secret Date Never. I could be wrong. But yeah, I do love this piece. And I love this color. And I love the faux fur trim. It's super duper cute. And here is Yasmin's accessory blister. She has Chloe's sunglass mold, I believe. And a lot of her pieces are in like purple and blue tones and some pink in there as well. I love these accessories and I'm hoping to get to use them when I put the doll together to my liking. All right, working a little backwards here, I took her second pair of shoes out. She has those sandal strappy heels and they are in black. I'm really stunned by her. <gasps> She's so pretty. And the way her hair is just like flowing right now, it's it's really like, it's giving me like a fantasy here. I love her. Wow. Wow. This is something somebody pointed out recently. Some people said that her second pair of shoes should have been her first pair of shoes because that blue really does not match with the purple dress. Yeah. Interesting. I, she looks so much like the original to me. Let me actually grab my original really quick because I need to see them side by side. Because look at her face. Oh my goodness. All right. They look so similar to me. I don't know if I'm tripping, but look at this. I think the most visible difference, obviously, is Yasmin's eyelashes on the new one are so much thicker. And so it might look like it's almost misleading in the way that it looks. But these look very very similar i'm i'm just so impressed with how this yasmin looks wow and i redid my original yasmin's hair so it's not quite the same but same gist i'm really impressed by the repro i i think we're seeing a huge shift in quality for the brand and it's getting me really excited because i when these repros were like discovered the listings i just wasn't sure what it was gonna look like especially after we saw what happened with rock angels and if you don't know what happened with rock angels i don't think you want to know what happened with rock angels i'm i'm really happy that we're seeing the brand take a step in actually putting a lot of effort and quality into the reproductions and hopefully we get to see this with more dolls in the future and I'm hope I hope we get more playline in the future that is new playline and not just reproduction playline but this doll feels a lot like the original and looks a lot like the original and I'm really just shook by that all right here is her second pair of pants and it of course has that little like bandana piece it's very like mid 2000s and she's wearing it as a belt i'm sure you could also style it in other ways you could probably even try to use it as a bandana for her head very very cute love this piece the jeans are basic obviously but i think this little fringy like i don't even know what to call this like this moment it's just very of that time very 2004 when the line came out originally and then we have her top it looks very good I think this was a good outfit choice. I would have liked to have seen her other outfit potentially used for this line, but I'm actually, now that I'm seeing it in person, I think this outfit is really good. So I'll take it. I'll, I'll take what I can get. I'm sure a lot of people will take what they can get with this brand sometimes. And our final doll of the Girls' Night Out batch is Dana. And I'm so excited to see Dana returning from the little brats graveyard it's been 
I think 11 years since we last saw Dana. Dana last appeared in the second edition of the Style It collection in 2011. And that was, you know, an interesting time for Bratz, as many people know. So it's exciting to see her come back. And I hope we get to see more of Dana. She hasn't made it for any of the other reboots. She was not in the 2013 reboot. She was not in 2015. She wasn't in 20. 18 so happy to see dana again and her comeback it's looking pretty strong here i mean she looks really good and her and chloe have the same screening and i think they really just knocked it out of the park on dana here and her dress i don't i don't know how her original dress felt but this feels really well constructed it looks really good to me so, yeah, and her hairstyle is also, like, insane, like Chloe's is. And I'm, it looks pretty neat, so I'm happy and excited about that. We have part of Dana's semi-formal fever out, and her jacket is cute. I like how they sort of patch together different denims around the back. The would you call this the trim like the glitter trim it's very interesting it's flaking off a bit it kind of reminds me of the movie dresses so keep that in mind she also comes with a butterfly top and this is one of three butterfly tops that we are getting this fall from the brats line and this also was recycled at some point for a secret date chloe but we're getting this butterfly top we're getting a butterfly top with series two nevra and we're also getting a butterfly top with Cult, Gaia, Chloe. So lots of butterfly tops. I really like this one. I think one of my friends described it as like a Mariah Carey moment. And here is Dana's accessory blister pack. One of the things that I notice off the bat is she only comes with one makeup palette, whereas the other girls are coming with two makeup palettes. I do love this color of this makeup palette though. It is very cute. And I love her accessories. I love this color scheme. The butterflies, I think, will look really cool if you style it with her butterfly top. All right, here is Dana out of the box. And wow, her hair is a lot. It's very big. I'm a little scared. I don't like the back of it. It looks a little too messy for my liking, so I might have to take it out, attempt to redo parts of it. And that idea is very scary to me because I just don't want to mess with these portions up here. I'm sure I could redo them if I tried really hard enough, but you know, I don't want to. Her face looks so good though. It looks a lot like the original. I do have a reference here, sort of. So here is Head Games Dana, and she wears sort of like a less detailed recolored version of the Girls Night Out dress. And I have to say the faces are very much on point. And this is a screening that Dana used to death like it started with Gino Dina and this is wintertime wonderland Chloe screening and she first used it in this line when Dana first used it I should say and then she went on to use it for head games and Hollywood style and she used it in a bunch of random like play sets and she she's used it a lot like this screening has gone around for Miss Dana and it, it does suit her I have to say and it looks really good on this repro dare I say it, might look a little better in this instance. Like, it just looks really great. I'm super impressed with her, and I, I've i always wanted this Dana, and I got her once at a thrift store, and her hair was cut. So, not ideal, but I'm happy to have her in her full glory like this. And here are Dana's semi-formal fever jeans, and they have, like, this diamond on them. They're very cute. I like these jeans. So yeah, cute jeans. You are say. cute jeans. Huh? And final piece for Dana. She has pink heels. Very cute. I never realized that all the Girls Night Out dolls all have the same shoe molds, just in different color schemes. It's cute. I like it. I just, I never noticed it before. This is Girls' Night Out, and I'm gonna do a review, or like, more like an overview on lookingbrats.com, because if I were to review these dolls, all I have to really say is, is that I really love these dolls, and 
I'm like shook experiencing these in person. I never thought I would experience all of them in person and I'm super impressed. I never really had the originals aside from Sasha and Yasmin, similar to what they would be like if I were to have bought them new. But I, I can't believe that we're getting reproductions that look this good. Like I thought the 20 years reproductions were pretty good aside from some flaws here and there, specifically with Chloe's face. And of course the Rock Angels repros were not ideal. They did improve over time, but they just didn't have the same Bratz flair that the original Rock Angels had. But I can firmly say that these are giving classic Bratz the quality is amazing and these retail for $36.99 US dollars and I know a lot of people are probably like well they didn't cost that much back in the day they come with less stuff I don't think a lot of people know that inflation is a thing and I feel like girls night out if you were to get it fully might cost closer to like $50 and I'm sure a lot of people would pay the price but just to keep it accessible I think these are a great alternative to buying the original Girls Night Out dolls off the secondhand market. Like, I think these repros fill my craving for Girls Night Out, and I don't feel like I ever need to get the originals now. Like, I think this satisfies my craving, and I'm happy now that I get to own all five of these. And really thank you so much again to MGA for sending me this set and for including me on some of the promotional efforts that you will hopefully have seen by now or will see soon. But I, I'm so happy and I'm so excited to see what the Bratz brand has in store for the future. And you'll see in my next unboxing video of what I got from MGA. I'm excited to unbox those dolls as well, but it really seems like MGA is stepping it up in terms of the quality and the time and effort that they're putting into the Bratz brand, and that's all I've ever really wanted for the brand. I started to feel like, you know, with all the reproductions and all of the disappointment that has come with some of the reproductions, specifically Rock Angels, and seeing some of the quality issues in terms of how the faces are printed, that kind of stuff with the collector dolls over the past year. It's been sad, it's been disheartening, and it almost has made me lose my faith in how this brand can move forward in the future. But now I feel like Bratz is taking the steps to be taken seriously again as a major doll brand, and I think MGA is paying them more attention. I think it really shows with these repros, and I'm really just stunned by how these look. And if you were wondering, yes, these dolls have the original 2001 head sculpt. So for some of the dolls that have the UV printing, which is the Rock Angels repros, the Jimmy Paul dolls, the GCDS dolls, and Holiday Felicia, they all have the UV printing method, which makes the screenings look more pixelated. But these are pixel free, and I am happy to confirm that these have sprayed faces. Spray faces are what the Bratz have mostly used throughout their lifetime, and that's what they've been used from since the beginning. So I'm so happy to see the return of sprayed screenings, and you can tell by how amazing these faces look. These are sprayed on. Their head sculpt is not modified. It was modified for the UV printing. But now that we are back to the spray method, we can use the original head mold. So happy about that. And I know some people might be curious about that. So yes, I just want to confirm 2001 original head sculpt and sprayed faces. So if you have a chance to get the Girls Night Out reproductions in stores, definitely definitely consider buying them. If I had not received these for free, I would go to a store and I would buy these in a heartbeat. These are stunning. Like these feel like they could just be the original dolls at this point. Aside from, you know, the missing stuff, that's whatever. I know there's some changes here and there that, you know, may not be ideal, like the type of hair being used and the eyelashes, but I'm impressed. I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied personally. If you are not, I respect that. You can go ahead and buy the originals off eBay for exorbitant prices. And that is, that's your gig. And I respect that. But I'm good over here. I'm sure a lot of people will be happy with these. 
once they see them in person, once they get to experience them. I cannot wait to do photo shoots with them and do some videos with them, which you can see on my Instagram and on my Twitter and TikTok and Facebook, all at Lookin' Bratz. That is Lookin' Bratz, no G in the Lookin'. And also check out LookinBrats.com. Again, hold the G. At LookinBrats.com, you will be able to see a blog post where I take detailed pictures of them. And by the time you're watching this, that should be live. So make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I love making videos now. I have so many of them and I love them so much that I don't edit them because I probably have like 20 unedited videos at this point. But I will make this a priority because this launch is super special. Again, these are expected to hit stores starting October 9th. You can also find them at lolsurprise.com. And you can find them at Amazon, Walmart, and Target's websites, I believe. Don't fully take my word for that. I don't know where they're going to be sold internationally fully at the full scope of things. I don't really plan to report out on that. But if anything major pops up, I'm sure people will see that news. Whoever needs to see it will likely see it. Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you again to MG Entertainment. And I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you again. Hey y'all, this is Post Edit Dom, and I finally have all the dolls unboxed. Thank you so much to my friends Frank and Emil who were with me when I got the dolls in the mail. Uh, they helped me do all the hair on the dolls, and here's Yasmin. Here's a closer look at her stuff. I'm still stunned by how close she looks to the original. Here is Chloe, and I really love her out of the box. I'm not a fan of the second outfit as much. I think it looks a little frumpy on her, but I do plan on keeping her in the dress eventually. Here is Dana. I'm still very surprised by how close she looks to the original. I mean, look at her face. It just looks so good. I also love her accessories. I feel like all of these are very cohesive with both of her looks. Here is Sasha, and I do have to say her lip shape could be improved. It's definitely not quite like the original, though I think I prefer the construction of this dress over the original. Not a fan of the jumpsuit still, but it's here. And finally, we have Jade. I really do love Jade, and I think they really nailed down her screening for this release. The dress is a bit transparent. I'm very excited for those glasses. I love those glasses and this outfit. Thank you so much again for watching and make sure to check out the review on lookinbrats.com in the blog section for more detailed pictures. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.